we store all our camping gear in a, in a, in a mobile trailer. It was a 16 foot trailer and we had it stored at a facility and it holds, holds all of our camping gear, like cooking tents, stoves, coolers, tug of war ropes, so you name it, it was all in there. And unfortunately uh, in October, the trailer was stolen. So we reported to the Halton police. We tried to find security camera coverage of any and nothing turned up. We did a grassroots search across Canada, networking with other scouters across the country, trying to find the trailer or, or identify any of the equipment online and it's gone. So we, we've done everything we can to try and locate all this gear. And now we've uh, returning to the community and saying we, we've lost everything uh, and we'd like to get the kids back out. And we're looking for help to try and raise some funds to get some of that gear back, to get the kids back out in nature and enjoying what scouts do. I mean, we put the out and scout, right? Uh, get outside and, and enjoy some camping and fishing and canoeing and, and all that benefit that you can have, especially during COVID. Uh, of getting these kids out to enjoy uh, what nature has. You know, now all crime is bad, but I but I think it's worse when it feels census like this and also it affects kids that are actually active and getting out there. How much value was in the trailer? You know what? It was it was tough to come up with a, an approximate value. We're, we're, we've been around for 80 years and probably we calculated about 30 years worth of gear that was in there. I mean, some stuff wears out and you replace it. Mm -hmm. But it, with the trailer and everything all told, it's about $25,000 that uh, it'll cost to replace everything that we had before. Knowing we're, we're probably not going to be able to get everything, but we're, we're working and networking in regards to getting discounts. And uh, we have corporate... Uh, companies that are saying, hey, we'll send you equipment, uh, sell you equipment at, at wholesale costs, which is fabulous. So for people who, you know, particular people who may have a background in scouts, I was a scout myself and know the value of what you guys uh, do and, you know, uh, how this can really earmark a childhood and help people get out there and learn things. How can people help out and how can people donate? Um, you can go to our website, you can go to portnelsonscouts.com and uh, there's a link there to helping us and you hit the learn more. We've got a GoFundMe account set up. So if you just make, want to make a, a small donation, any donation, $5 up is fabulous. You can use GoFundMe for that. If you'd like to make a donation with a tax receipt, uh, you can email us directly. We can send you the information that would go through Scouts Canada National uh, mm -hmm. as they have the charitable number and you would be issued a tax receipt and those funds can be directed back to our local group to help fund that replacement. 